Hey everybody, Alex Grieve here, better known as IB Crazy, and I just wanted to shoot a real quick video to explain why I'm using these goofy antennas on my 2.4 gigahertz radio. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments about why would I modify the radio and why would I use this over, say, the 5 dBi dipole mod that seems to be very popular with the Tyrannus. Well, if we step over to my computer screen, I will show you some antenna simulation software that showed me why this was the best antenna for me to use on this particular radio. What I've got here is I've got the stock radio antenna, which is a sleeve dipole, and it's it's modeled right here, and I'm, I'm above grassy ground here. Now the height from here to the ground is 450 millimeters, which is approximately the height I hold the radio when I sit down and I fly. And you can see the radiation pattern it creates is kind of erratic, and in fact, right out in front, it's actually really weak. So if I go here and I look at the pattern, at 15 degrees of elevation, I'm at minus 13 dB, which is absolutely horrible. 10 degrees, I'm at minus 12. And at 85 degrees, I'm at minus 16. That's huge. That's the reason why my signal is dropping out when I sit and fly at a relatively short range. And so let's see what happens if I stand. So here we go. Here's my height. Um, 450 millimeters. Now, when I stand, it's 760 millimeters above the ground. Now, this seems a little odd, but I'm short and I hold my arm straight. So, this is actually the height. So, we're going to save that and then we're going to go back in here and we are going to model it again. And let's find the radiation pattern. Okay, so there is the radiation pattern. You can see the antenna moves up a lot higher. Uh, the radiation pattern looks a lot more stable, but I'm not so sure it looks better. So there it goes. Now this is from the side. You can see for some reason 4NEC2 puts that uh, at a 95 degrees. So we need to go back to zero degrees, which is straight out in front. And that's where we are. So standing, I'm at minus 13 to, wow, uh, minus 20. So standing, it's even worse. And I typically stand when I fly. So this is this is definitely a problem for me. My, my vehicle drops out of the sky for, well, what seemed to be no apparent reason until I decided to, well, model it. But what I also did is I modeled my folded dipole. And that's what this is right here. Um, if I can actually get to it. <laughs> so uh, let's go with the 3D. Okay, let's open that up. Okay, so this is the folded dipole over ground. So this is what I'm actually using on my radio. And this is my radiation plot when I'm standing. As you can see, much more solid, no real problems to worry about. And if I look at the 2D here, well, let's go back over to zero degrees. So right out in front, I am at... Wow, between seven and six dB, that's excellent. That is a very, very strong signal, which would explain why it's doing so well for me. However, we also need to model this thing when sitting down. So we're gonna go back over to where I was initially in the beginning of the video at 450 millimeters above the ground. We'll save that. So the antenna moved lower. Let's uh, go ahead and simulate it. All right. Whoops. Multicolor. Okay, so we're really erratic again, but I'm sitting close to the ground, so this is to be expected since I'm close to what the antenna is reacting with. So this is the radiation pattern. And again, for some reason, 4NEC takes a random angle. So at zero degrees, uh, right on the ground, I'm at, you know, 7.8. That's excellent. And at the weakest point that I intend to fly, I'm at minus 0.32. So that's not too bad. The only point I would be concerned about is this elevation here at 70 degrees um, at minus 11.8. That's a little bit weak. Actually, that's very weak. Luckily, I haven't had too much of a problem with this, or if I have, at least I'm not noticing. So, as you can see, guys, huge differences. And I know a lot of you are asking, well, Alex, what about the 5 dBi dipole? Well, so I don't have to go back through all this stuff. I actually have it here, and I actually model it. So, this is the 5 dBi dipole standing. 
as you can see, a really, really erratic uh, radiation pattern. But it is a little bit better. But as you can see, really, really low, that's a null. That's really bad. And at the weak elevation where I was at minus 11, this is looking like it's about minus 18. So it's a lot worse. Is it better than stock? Mm, probably. Well, what does it look like sitting? Because you remember this is standing where my pattern looked great. It was actually uniform. So what about if I am sitting? Well, now you can see it's really erratic. And well, that's actually not very good at all. So if you're the type that has used this mod and you wonder why it's not working, again, this is why. The antenna here is just reacting with the ground and you need something a little bit more stable. Okay guys, so you can see this antenna is a huge improvement over the stock antenna and it's also much better than the 5 dBi dipole. But that doesn't mean it's the best. In fact, the best antenna is this right here. This is the 2.4 gigahertz Mad Mushroom. The Airblade does equally as well, but it's also a little bit bigger. You might ask Alex, well, if it's the best, why isn't that on your radio? Well, I'm abusive to radios. I toss them in my car, they slide around, I put them in boxes, and this thing's gonna get messed up really easily attached to that radio. So I just chose to make this out of an aircraft wire rope, which is nice and flexible and uh, won't break. And honestly, it goes further than I need to go. If I'm going for long range, I'm going to pull out my UHF radio and use that. But for park flying and not really worrying about it, this is where I go. And just so everybody knows, I've been in communication with Spectrum about this and they're working with me to integrate something like this into their radio to improve the performance. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll get that integrated soon. I might be crazy and keep them flying.